Today is Wednesday, it's uh, early in the afternoon here in the UK and I've just been brainstorming this morning about how to go about uh, testing this product and I've decided that I'm going to spend £75 a day over a period of three days for a total of £225 and that is broken down into 15 different ad sets here. And so basically, I, as I said, I'm already using some data that I know about my audience just from my Google Analytics. Um, but you, if you know your audience, you'll probably be able to do a similar thing as, as this, what I'm doing now, without any data, if you already know who your audience is. Um, so I'm going to be targeting my ad sets are going to be split up by age and by country. They're all going to be targeting males. They're all only going to be on iPhone and on Facebook newsfeed and Instagram feed. No other placements other than those two placements on iPhones. Interests, I'm undecided as to how I'm going to stack them, how many interests I'm going to go for, um, whether I'm going to go down the route of putting competitors or celebrities on magazines or TV shows, etc., into the interests. Um, I'll let you know that after I've done it, after I've decided it. But basically the three age groups are 18 to 24 and 25 to 34 because this one converts, I know is going to convert extremely well because it already converts well for other products on my website and the product I'm going to be selling using this case study campaign is very much catered toward this age group and to this age group to an extent. And then I want to test older age groups because I've had purchases from them in the past. And if I don't target them, if I don't advertise to them, I could perhaps be leaving money on the table. But this might make a loss. I was going to do 35 to 44 and 45 to 54 and spend a bit more money each day. But I figured why not group these together because I'm unsure about them. If they do work, I can duplicate, I can branch out, and I can run separate campaigns for different these different age groups here and spend more money. But for now, this is what my ages are going to look like. So that's, that's my ages. And then I'm targeting 10 countries. I've got the big four and then a couple in Europe, a couple. Um, the large countries, they're very popular in terms of um, Facebook ads, people do target them a lot, but I can't really justify making, you know, if I, if I was to target each country separately in separate ad sets, along with these different age groups, I'd be looking at over, I think about one, two, three, four, five, I'd be looking at 30 ad sets and I'd be spending £150 a day, and I'd spend £450 over the period of three days. But this is a testing period, and I don't want to spend that much money in case you know this product is, in fact, not a winning product, not something I can advertise. But anyway, this is how I'm splitting my countries up, US, UK, Canada, Australia, and then I've bunched the six other countries together in other so this will, um, when I'm targeting these other countries, there'll be an ad set that just has six countries in the locations rather than just, just a single one. And that equals three times five, because we've got three ages, five countries, and then all this will stay uniform throughout the different ad sets. That's 15 different ad sets. Um, so I'll have a US 18 to 24 with, this, with these settings. I have a UK 18 to 24 with these settings, a Canada 18 to 24 with these settings, and so on and so on. And then I'll have a 25 to 34 for each of these. And that's how you get, you know, 15, three times five. Um, and they're all gonna run at five pound a day each. That equals 75 pound a day for a total of 225 over three days. And then what I will do is I plan on making look like audiences from the results once I've had 100 page views and 100 add to carts and 100 purchases. So I'll have a lookalike audience that is similar to people who viewed this specific product that I'm advertising here, to these people, 
And then hopefully once I get 100 ads to carts and 100 purchases, um, you know, it may not be within the next two weeks. It may be within the next two months or whatever. Um, then I'll be creating lookalikes for this and this, and I'll be running ad sets to those lookalikes. And you'll see that when it happens. But I just wanted to let you know what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to be splitting my ad sets up just for this testing period. So in the next video, um, I will have actually set up my ad sets. I'll have ske either scheduled them to begin running or they will indeed be running. And um, I'll discuss just how it's going and the plan going forward. And I'll probably also talk about how I decided to go about these interests.